Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today we're making wire heart bracelets inspired by a live stream that I'll link up below in the description. We are using round forms, bracelet form, 16 gauge wire, and our tools. So we're taking about 18 inches of 16 gauge artistic wire and we'll start by forming the heart shape. So I'm just going to pull that around the highlighter and then if you want the circle smaller you can wiggle it around on a sharpie or another round form. So we're going to do the same on the other side and just bring the wires out to the side to make a very basic heart. In the live stream I did this part a little bit differently so we're going to bring them right around and up a little bit and then getting the tweezer nose pliers, these are the Zeron pliers, we're going to bend the wire down to the front. So holding it firmly, pushing with your thumb to make a sharp bend. And you could always look at a picture of a heartbeat a formation and to get the shape you want, but basically we're just bending the wire up and down to make the little heartbeat. So up and down as you want. You can make it the same on both sides or you can make it asymmetrical. So you hold the wire with the pliers and push with your fingers to make a nice sharp bend. And then straight out to the side on either side. We have to finish this to bring it up to the center first and then straight out at the center on both sides. You could add beads if you want. These ones I did all with wire. So we're going to bring it around a round form. This is a pill bottle. I use different sizes of pill bottles all the time. If you don't have a bracelet mandrel, this is perfect. So we can make it more round, you can make it more oval, whatever shape you like. And then we're going to take the end and curve it around towards the middle with a little, little loop there and then larger pliers to bring it out to make the hook. And then on the other side, we're going to form a very simple loop. If you had more wire, you could bend it around and twist it to secure it. This is just a very open loop, very basic. And there is the heartbeat bracelet. You can also do the whole bracelet with the EKG symbol. So right at the end, we're going to form the hook. So we're going to bend it around with the small round pliers again. And then with the larger round pliers, we're going to bring it back the other direction to make the hook. Very basic. Adjust it as you need. And then what we're going to do is we'll do a loop on the other end. But first we're going to curve it around just using the pill bottle. You can also hammer these so they're a little stiffer. And where you need the loop, we're just going to bend it up. And you'll see we have enough wire this time. We're going to bring it all the way around and we'll make a more closed loop this time. So now we're going to hold it with the flat pliers and bring it through. And you can twist it around two or three times as much as you want. And then we're going to clip it with our flush cutters. These are the Zeron flush cutters. So clip it right in there. And then we want to pinch in that little pokey end. Adjust it a little bit if you need to. Hook that in there and there's the EKG bracelet. Super cool. So for this one, again with the 16 gauge wire, it comes in many colors, the artistic wire. We're going to do a little Mimi heart. So we're just going to bend it out and then curve the top of the heart with a marker. This is the Crayola marker. I use that one a lot. If you need it bigger, use a, sh a highlighter, bring it around to form the heart. Flip it over 
and bring it around the round form. It's easiest to work at the end of the marker so you could get it right in there. So that's our basic heart shape. Do any adjustments that you need. You could do that by hand. Keep wiggling it around until the heart is the shape that you want. And from there we're going to do another little loopy at the bottom with the small round nose pliers. Just bring it around. Just makes it a little more fancy. And then where you want the bracelet part to go out, just bend it out at an angle. And now we're just going to bend the other side of the heart around, but we want to help it out with our round pliers so it doesn't get distorted when we wind it. So we give it a little bend and then we take that end and wind it around two or three times, as many times as you want. So bring it all the way around. And then we want to clip it with our flush cutters. And as always, we have to push in that little pokey end and pinch this in a way that it's not going to slip. So just go in with those tweezer nose pliers, adjust it as you need. So now I'm going to actually use the artistic wire bracelet mandrel. So hold it down against the mandrel and then we're going to wind it around. So the heart is going to be kind of flat down, but we'll see after we're going to push it more perpendicular. But this is just to get the oval form. You can get all the artistic wire tools on the Beetle On website or in their Amazon shop. I'll link up all the materials in the description. So once you have the size you want, we're going to make a little hook. So bring it back with the round pliers. You get the little red handled around those pliers. I love these pliers. I've had a pair for 30 years and now they're available on Amazon, which is great. So I'll link up those. So we're going to clip that end flush and pinch in the little pokey end, squeeze it in so it's closed. Just do that little adjustment, pinch it in, and you'll see that we're just going to hook it in and there's a very simple heart bracelet. Also can be hammered if you need it hardened. So now we're going to do one more. We'll start by bringing it around the mandrel, 16 gauge wire again, bring it right around. Now the length depends on how big you want to make your hearts. I would start with about 18 inches and then we're going to bend it out on either side. So there's a couple inches in between where we're going to put our hearts. And then we're going to just push it straight down that wire so it forms the bottom of the heart. We're going to bend it straight up at an angle. And then we have to get our round pliers and bring it around to form the top of the heart. You can use looping pliers with this or larger round nose pliers. So just bring it around. And then with the tweezer nose pliers, we're going to bend it up, keep it simple, just a flat heart, and then bring it down. So we're going to do the same on the other side, bend it down on an angle, and we're going to try to get these about the same size. You can do them different sizes if you prefer. These designs are very open-ended. You could put your own flair on it. And I always love seeing what people create and share in the Wire Makers Club. So if you make these, be sure to share pictures. If you're not on Facebook, you can email me pictures to heatherboydwire at gmail.com. I love seeing your work. And we're just hooking that wire into the first heart because we want interlocking hearts. I'll link up a tutorial for a ring that's made in this same style. So we're going to bring it around, hook them together, just push it so you can access the top of the heart with the round pliers, trying to get them the same size. And now we're going to bend it up in the middle with the tweezer nose pliers. And then we need to get the round pliers again to complete the heart. So adjust it, bring the wire right down, 
So both hearts will be finished. So now we have to help out our bend with the round pliers. This really helps it so it doesn't get distorted. And the same on the other side, hold it with the round pliers, bring it around, clip the wire if it's too long. I always cut my wire a little too long. You probably don't need that much wire for this one, maybe 15 inches. So we're gonna bring that one around and you can wind it around a couple of times. Pinch it. And then the same on the other side. Bring it around. Grab that end of the wire with the pliers so it's easier to pull. Pinch in that coil. Clip the end with the flush cutters. And then flip it and do the same on the other side. Make sure it's nice and snug, clip it. And then the last stage will be just to get the flat pliers and pinch in those ends. We don't want them slipping and we don't want any pokey ends. You can fix up the curve on the bracelet. You can hammer this a little bit if you have a bracelet mandrel. This design does not have a clasp, but is a bangle style bracelet that goes right over your hand. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.